Rinku Singh and Nitish Reddy. These two individuals stepped up in India's game against Bangladesh in New Delhi yesterday. And they put on a brilliant display by which India were assured of the series win. Nitish Reddy starred with the bat and the ball. But Rinku Singh showed yet again that he is the Iceman. Definitely God's plan in more ways than one that Rinku Singh, when he comes up into these kind of situations, he will step up. He did indeed talk with the ultimate Iceman of them all in MS Dhoni. He's always been talking with him. But when he came for the press conference yesterday, he had some th things to say about his batting position, about the way he has to adjust, which is the challenge, why does he do it consistently, and his ongoing equation with Mahindra Singh Dhoni when it comes to batting in this position. So, when he came for this particular match, Rinku Singh hadn't gotten too many opportunities to bat. In the limited opportunities that he's got, he's always managed to capitalize. But then somewhere down the line, is that impacting his mind that, yes, I'm not getting too many opportunities to bat. It might impact me. He gave a very calm and a composed answer in the press conference when that question was posed. He said, I did not bother about the fact that I was not getting too many opportunities to bat. Team winning was far more important. Rinko Singh has ensured that whenever he is in that zone, he always will contribute. Yes, he may not get too many opportunities to bat because of the position that he is in. Remember, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, these are the positions where he will most likely bat. So, getting an opportunity to bat in that itself is a very limited task. But whenever he stepped up, he has done it. Now, when he came on to bat, it was a rather tough time. India's top order did not capitalize much. The wicket was providing a bit of assistance to spin. It was gripping. It was sticky. Nitesh Reddy was there. And from then on, their partnership ensured that India reached 221. Now, this is how Rinku Singh programmed himself to bat in that. He stated, Nitesh told me that the ball was sticking on the wicket and told me to bat accordingly. Slowly, we built momentum. It is in here that he credits Nitish Reddy as the game changer because the way Nitish hit those three sixes in one over, it was game changing. 26 runs had come in the 13th over that was bowled by Mehdi Hassan Miraz. And because of that, India just managed to seize the opportunity and batted Bangladesh totally out of the contest. So, he took his time and decided to ensure that towards the fag end when we had, they had reached a good position, the, he would cut loose. But where does he get all this from? From the Iceman himself, the original Iceman in MS Dhoni. He stated, I keep telling myself to remain calm in tough situations. It comes naturally as I have been playing at this position for a long time. Couple of seasons, it's been quite about for three to four years where he's been batting in a number five, six, seven slot. I practice accordingly. I have talked a lot regarding this with Mahi Bhai. MS Dhoni. MS Dhoni has been giving tips to Rinko Singh as to how to take the game deep and ensure that he cuts loose when the situation demands. Yes, towards the fag end, MS Dhoni was guilty of taking the game a little too deep, by which it became almost impossible to win on some occasions. But Rinko Singh, I think his timing is spot on. He knows when to accelerate and that's how he does it. But the real challenge now for Rinku Singh will be after 12th because he believes that making some adjustments to different formats could take a bit of time. Not the way that he's going to get a chance to bat. That is not his main concern. His main concern is preparation and adjustment will be little. Making that transition from T20 white ball on 12th to Ranji red ball on 18th will be tough. When I go to Lucknow, I will practice more and score. I will play whenever I get an opportunity. Is Rinku Singh been pigeonholed as only a white ball specialist? No. He will play whenever he gets the opportunity. So he is going to play the Ranji Trophy games for, the, for, for Uttar Pradesh and then carry on the good work from there. Rinku Singh, there is no doubt about it that yes, his India's career has started off very, very well. From what he did in the IPL till now, it's been a smooth ride. But challenges will come up. So, 
India is it's looking very rosy for India at this point. 95% is India's uh, uh, winning uh, ratio in 2024. They have barely lost anything. So, Rinku Singh and India are in a great position at this time. From now, it will only be to ensure that momentum is been built ahead of the 2020-60-20 World Cup. Thank you so much folks for joining us for this video. Subscribe to Sports Today for all the latest news and analysis.